you ever just walk past a homeless person or put your headphones in and act like they're not there? Over 500,000 people in America are counted as homeless. And I figure that needs to change. People subject the homeless as lazy or alcoholics, but in reality, they are people that just want to get their life together from either being sexually abused or just living in poverty and not ha and starting off with nothing and being abandoned. They don't have a family to go to or somewhere to go at night to sleep when they're cold or when it's really hot outside. They have to find food for themselves and be all by themselves. They are looked at as another kind, but really they are just like us, humans trying to survive in this cold, cold world. So instead of getting first in line to get the iPhone X or get the new skateboard, be the one to be first in line to give out something to the homeless shelter so that way they can support the homeless. Just think about it, just think about it. Because all they want is a helping hand or someone to talk to someone to, to just get their minds off what they're going through someone to help them we need to make a change and it all starts with you In this clip, I treated a homeless man out to some food. But that doesn't mean this is the first time I have done this. I've done this plenty of times. But in this process, I have talked to a homeless man. And he explained to me uh, uh, a wild story how he was on probation and he broke his probation and he ended up going to jail. And how when he got out, he had nowhere to go. And how he was subjected as some type of monstrous character just because he was on the streets asking for money when in reality nobody knew his true story and he told me some crazy things how everybody has their story and you can't judge a book by its cover basically and how people just have to join together and unite and hold hands instead of fighting away each other In the center of Chicago, under a road, some of the city's homeless attempt to keep warm. Their possessions, including bundles of clothes and blankets, lie strewn across the sidewalks. This is where many of Chicago's homeless are preparing for a harsh winter. It's estimated that some 82,000 people are homeless here, many living on the street, including Joseph and his uncle. At nighttime, even with the blankets and stuff like that down here, we still be freezing. This concrete gets so cold it crack. Since I've been out here about seven years, I've seen about about six people down here pass away. From the cold? From the cold, yeah. These people have been in line for five hours, waiting for groceries from a shelter. Kenneth tells me about the desperate lengths he has to go to to stay warm. They, the friend can't help me. I go stay on the train. You know, back and forth. But then I start the day all over again. You see my buggy all broke down, like I'm broke down now.
Even when I lose, I'm winning. Cause I give you all of me. One more time, one more time. And you give me all of you. I'm going to make you work for your dollar. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> and don't forget, tomorrow morning is your chance to win a pair of tickets to see this man live in concert. <laughs> Thank you so much. And he's still working modern day miracles. I really do feel that he who is homeless will lead the homeless home. I don't want people to think of me as I left this earth that I was a crackhead. I want them to, to see the impact. And I want my grandkids to look on YouTube and see some of the things that they and Papa was proud of that did. And, and I, I'm not going to sell myself short for anything because God gave me this for a reason. And that reason is to be here to talk to you, to tell you, to keep me in your prayers. If you start to look around and be mindful, you'll realize that homelessness is not only a problem in the city, but in our society. You good? You good? All right. Enjoy your day, sir. Have a nice day.